to our last item, which is the closing item, um, which is the NEC starts. But he will do a speech first before we go forth. And she smiled 
at Cusco, so smiling, took me and took me to represent. And she gave me the hiding of my life. That day. So that day I would learn a lot because of that hiding and I never got suspended ever again. And so when I got to school at St. Paul's College, um, I started focusing on my school. I started uh, getting more serious. Um, and when I won my first award at year seven, I never thought I could do it because I never, I, I thought I was dumb. Um, so I looked down on myself, but when I won my first award, that gave me motivation to, to do well and to carry on with my education. And I realized that what my parents have sacrificed a lot, um, my mom and my dad, um, without them, I wouldn't be the man who I am today. And along my school years, I excelled in my school. And then when I got to university, that's when it all changed for me because I felt uh, real heavily in my life. I was far away from God. Um, I fell into drugs, alcohol. Uh, I had my first phone, I had my first girlfriend, and that led me to, in the wrong path. And so when I gave my heart to the Lord in 2016, I will show through scripture and I praise God because he brought a man uh, who showed me through scripture how I could be saved and from then on I knew what my purpose and plan was and my purpose and plan was to glorify Christ in everything I do and everything I say and so um my life has been on education, my life has been on sports for most of my life and my parents uh, taught me a lot uh, but at the point where I was far away from the Lord, he called me back into his will and I praise God uh, for the church I implanted in and for what he's done in my life uh, because every day <coughs> I look to strive for, for Christ in everything I do and say and with my family, with my friends, my church family, uh, the people that were there that brought me up, I'll, I'll, I want to go back to them and I want to let them know that my life is about serving Christ and that is what I'm here to do regardless and I praise God uh, for this day uh, I also want to acknowledge um, everyone here at the head table um, I acknowledge you guys for making it uh, here I also want to acknowledge um, my partner, Lafu. Um, I didn't come here to propose, sorry. <laughs> That's not the day for that. Um, but I want to give thanks uh, to her because, man, she went all up today for this day. And nobody sees that work uh, from her. And I just want to thank her for making this day uh, beautiful. Uh, with the decorations, uh, with everything, and I know she had a lot of it on her mind. And for me, I was just kicking back this whole time. Um, and it was a bit weird for me, but um, I, I want to thank everyone uh, for what they have done and helping me to get where I am today. Um, so I just want to uh, do a little item. I do a lot of dance, uh, tongue dance, tongue muckle, um, uh, to thank you guys 
Okay, thank you everyone. Never mind. Okay, we're going to do the presentation first uh, that is prepared and then um, I would I will acknowledge everyone uh, for coming out by doing the item.
You know what I always say to my kids? Jesus loves you best. So pray your way through. Put God first in everything. And everything, everything will fall in place. Thank you for making our family happy. Missing in this achievement. Always remember to be humble. And to give honour, praise and glory to our Lord and Saviour. Love you, Sam, you see.
long hours trying to study for exams and complete assignments, you can now reap the fruits of your hard labor. And we can share that. And all the people around you are here to celebrate you. Now that you've graduated, you can now go forth and be that engineer that you've always wanted to be. And one, you can pay back all your siblings for all the money that you used to get from us. You can also give back to mum and dad for all the bank transfers that you used to steal from your bank to pay for your travel expenses, for your food, for your gas to get to school. Um, and also I'm still waiting for my 10% that I've helped you apply for um, to get into AUT and your scholarship. So I'll send through my bank account details so, um, so you can send that money through. All jokes aside, we wish we could have been there to celebrate you on this special day. But just know that our hearts are with you, our thoughts are with you, and our prayers are with you. Um, enjoy your day today. Ofala Yato from your big sissy, Andre, and your little annoying nephews and niece. Love you and enjoy your day. Hey, Missy, I um, just want to send our congratulations and our wishes to you as you uh, graduate um, today. And uh, look, we wish we could have been here to celebrate with you and the rest of the family. But uh, we'll be there in spirit. Um, so proud of you and um, happy that all your long nights and studies have all come to, um, come to pass. But um, sending all our love and our prayers. And uh, as I said, we'll be there in spirit. But uh, take care. I'll follow you. All glory and honor to God. Well done, CMBC. You have made it. All your late nights, all your hard work has all paid off. And we acknowledge God and honor God for He has done um, the possible. And then you are graduating today. CMBC, we just want you to know that we love you and that we are proud of you. We are so sad that we can't be there to celebrate with you in person. I know that we are celebrating with you in spirit. Um, and yeah, we love you, BC, and we are so proud of you. Hope you have the best day celebrating, and um, we can't wait to see photos, and we're probably going to be watching you live. And um, yeah, time to get that, um, what is it? Time to go and get that job now and stop transferring out of mom's account and transfer it into our account. Bye, BC, we love you. Hey Brett, I just want to congratulate you on your massive achievement. Uh, it's come a long way since uh, you were a little kid, seeing a little fat bag, but we're proud of you. So we send you all the love from there in camera. Uh, congrats and all the best for the future endeavors. Congrats, Apo. Come on. Like this.
again the road back to um, this is Farm Panda to close off our our day for today. I would just like to say a little speech um, to close off my duties as MC before I hand it over. Um, I'm one of Missy's first cousins. That uh, my father's the oldest now, uh, Missy's Missy's dad's side, and I think I got a bit more knowledge about how we grew up and about our village in Tonga and the way that we had grown up um, in Tonga because I was born there, came here when I was eight. Uh, Missy was born here so many years later. I was a bit older than Missy. I used to babysit him. So um, just a little background into our family. We grew up from a humble family. Um, our parents were very poor in Tonga and like all parents and like all us Pacific Islanders navigated here to find a new life and find something better for us kids. And their goals and their visions was for us kids to make it through education. Um, I know you see will remember that throughout our whole family, um, their goals and the way that they pushed us, they pushed us towards education. Most of us, some of us made it in sports, some of us made it elsewhere, some of us didn't make it, and some of us are still trying. But today we're here to uh, celebrate Missy's achievements, and it takes me back to uh, where we're from and the humbleness of how we grew up. It went up to a stage that we were living together with Missy's mum and dad and siblings in one house for a couple of years, where Missy's father was still at uh, St. John's, still at Bible College with my parents and everybody else around them, um, supporting them to get through. This journey is not a journey that you do by yourself. It takes a village to raise a child, and it takes a village to raise a son, and his achievements is not only for him, but for everybody around him. Um, one thing that I remember from uh, my father, he's passed on, and something that he's always told us kids is, uh, your education is not something that you hold to make you feel more, more privileged than others or make you feel like you're better than another. But it's something that you hold and you hold and you take it and you utilize it to help other people around you. And people that can't, that needs help, that's what your education is there for. Missy, take your education and take it through and let it speak in the way where you're helping people around you that came from a humble beginning and are trying to get further, hold their hands and help them up. Because that's what your education is there for. It's a blessing from God and you utilize it to help others. I congratulate you for your achievements today and I'm so very proud of you. No words can express how proud I am of you and um, everybody else here how proud they are of you and thank you for um, reaching out to me to be your MC. If there was any shortages or anything that I missed out today, uh, blame your dad, he sent me the um, thing too late. But thank you very much and thank you for having me as your MC. Okay, let's give another big hand for Billy, she did a really good job. Thank you. Well, I have the privilege of uh, ending our time in uh, prayer and just sharing something from the Word. Uh, in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 57 and 58, it says, But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. For as much as ye know that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Thanks be to God which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Our victory is in Christ. Our victory is because of Christ. Without Christ there is no victory. Amen. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he is a new creature. All things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Jesus Christ is the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. And if we truly want to experience victory in life, we cannot experience it apart from our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord. Missy, the Bible says that there will come a day when no man can work. But while we can work, we must work as unto the Lord. 
And so these achievements that you have been able to achieve over these years, this graduation, now you go into the workforce. I pray and I encourage you, Missy, that the work that you do, you do as unto the Lord. That God may be glorified in everything that you do. For as much as you know, Sumisi, your labor is not in vain if it's done in and for the Lord. Amen. And may there be an encouragement to all of us. Those of, those of us who believe in the, the Lord Jesus Christ, those of us who follow the Lord Jesus Christ, that our work, we work for the Lord. Amen. The Bible tells us, the Bible tells us that God gives us opportunity to work for Him. Amen. And the Bible tells us that God works in us both to will and to do of His good pleasure. And may our work be done so that more may worship Jesus and so that more may come to know Jesus as their Lord and their Savior. That way when we go from this place our work will not be done in vain. Because there's a work that we can do that's vain. There's a work that we can do that's for ourselves. But the work we ought to do is the work that we do as unto the Lord, that work that glorifies our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So let us pray. Father God, we give you thanks. We give you praise for this beautiful uh, evening and for this afternoon that you've given us as we've celebrated with Brother Simisi. We thank you for his family, for his parents, for his siblings, for his cousins, his aunties and uncles, his uh, grandparents. Lord, we pray. And thank you for each person that is here today to celebrate with him as well as those that could not be with us today. Oh Lord, we are so encouraged to be here today and to celebrate in this milestone. And Lord, we know while this is the end of the study at AUT, this is the beginning of the work that he's going to do for you in his life. And so Lord, we just pray that you would take him, Lord, that you would open up the doors, get him into the right workplaces, Lord, so that he can... Uh, do his work as unto you, Lord, and that he can make you known. We pray, Lord, that you would just bless each person that is here. Uh, bless everybody that made this possible. All the work that went in in the background. You know who they were, Lord. You know who did all the work. You know who paid all the money. And we just pray that you would just bless and that you would just provide for them. Lord, as we go our separate ways, we pray that you would give us traveling mercies. That as we return back to our homes, Lord, that you would help us to return back to our homes safely. And that we will all be ready tomorrow to come into the house of the Lord, to worship you, to praise you, to lift up your name, and to hear the preaching and the teaching of your word. We love you now, Lord, and we thank you for your goodness to us. Bless the mercy, Lord, continue to use them. Bless every person that is here today. For it's in Jesus' mighty name we pray, and we all say, Amen. Amen. Okay, good evening, everybody. Thank you. 
Ο Πελόνι! Ne? 